Hey, hey, cheese! Welcome back to my free run, Beyond Journey's End reactions. We're gonna be watching episode two today. And last time, what happened last time? Uh, we got introduced to our cast, like uh, uh, the group of heroes that saved the world from the Demon King. And now they're going back to their hometown, and then everyone's celebrating, except uh, our main girl, Freeren, is an elf, and I think she's an elf. She, she looks like an elf with the ears, and she lives a lot longer than everyone else. So. Uh, 50 years pass and uh, yeah, they went on their last journey after 50 years and to go look at the shooting stars and then uh, one of them dies and Freyren decides to learn more about human life because he, she feels like she didn't understand the hero that died uh, any any good, any good, yeah, yeah, she didn't understand him any, any way so uh, she was like, I'm gonna learn more about humans, blah 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 and then, um, at the, near the end of the episode, we went back to go see the priest, I forgot his name. But, um, she, he was with, like, a war orphan, and uh, she was, and then he was like, you should train her. And then, um, she was like, I don't want to take on a princess, the princess usually die, so I don't want to do that. And then she, she was like, okay, I'll teach her magic, and okay. And then there's also the book about immortality and resurrecting the dead, I think, so... Yeah, I think those are the things that are, matter the most with the last episode. So, we're just gonna do this. So there's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A vision picture version, which you can find in the description below. And time based version, which you're watching right now. If you want to sync up your image to the time based version, you can do that. At a 5 second countdown, set a countdown for 5. Because that's what they do. And at 0, it's the same for my videos as playing on my screeny screen. Uh, screeny screen. What the hell did I... What the hell is a screeny screen? <laughs> Wait, I'm just checking all your tracks and stuff. Uh, okay, and timer will go here. I so mute it. Okay. Oh, it's already opening. Okay. I don't think there's anything at the end after the ED, so we might not watch the ED after this. If I'm just gonna be discussions, we'll be back over in YouTube. Check those out if you can. Leave a like if you subscribe channel and take it up patience. The recording's fine. Let me just... I don't want to focus too much on the opening. I get the feeling I'm gonna get spoiled. I already saw some of the new characters, like these two. When I was editing the last episode, I actually noticed that this is the same girl that she was teaching. So I was, so I was like, okay, I was right. She's gonna get old. I think I know this artist. I can't tell who it is, so. Da 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 da. Okay, let's go. I have my notes ready. Okay. Okay. Freer and cute. Are she really fishing? Tend to have trouble with, but you got. Hmm. Yum. Food. Deciphering it. It's very chill. Wow. You have to wear that. 
<laughs> oh, comfy, comfy. <laughs> it's giving her the the vegetables. If you want to live longer, eat your vegetables. Oh, she's cute. She's smiling. I haven't seen her smile like that before. Wow. Hey. <laughs> I thought. Is it dying? It's gonna die before we finish the cybering the book, aren't we? It's gonna die, isn't he? Not aren't we, isn't he? Look at him, so old. Her voice changed. She's not older now. Four years, I guess. Oh. You're gonna jump off? If she was gonna jump off! I'm actually very gay! <laughs> Sorry. I like this guy. She's cute. It's not older now. So yeah, like a teenager. Ah. That's a cool way to do that. Flowing books. This guy's dying. Whoa! Did you do it? 
I just throw it at him. Add us to hunch. Evic. He's gonna die. You can be with her now. Yeah, you can take her with your travels now. Because she, you won't. Oh, yeah, you, she won't get in your way anymore. That's great. That's great. I didn't even think of that. That's sad. <laughs> Almost teared up there. That was sad. Good! Oh, she's crying! Oh, she's crying! Oh. Yeah, make memories with her. Come on, make small talk. It's okay. That's sad. Oh, she blasted it. I need to blow my nose. I started crying a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Sorry. I just... Poured the booze on him. Hey. That's the promise. Give me booze in my grave. Doesn't it didn't have to be magic. Pumpkins? Yeah, it looks like pumpkins. Yeah. You need to do all the get herbs quests before you get the, the kill god quest. What can? Oh. Only somewhat. Hmm. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Is that Himmel? Yeah, it's Himmel!
Whoa. Were you saved by Himel? Himel, show up. Yeah. Yeah. That's you, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Eighteen hours. <laughs> Ridiculously plain one. Yeah, it's her. <laughs> Look at her, so smug. What? We're going there! Oh. Oh, he's an, she's an herbalist, of course. Squirrels! Squirrels! Squirrels in my pants! Sorry. What was that? What was that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> seed rats. Bye bye. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's cute. Is that it? Just similar, but not it. What was that? Oh, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> He's fixing her hair. Why does that keep happening to her? Oh, she feels like she's wasting her life doing this.
That's a good. That's actually. Mm. Talking to her about it? Okay. What is it? Hey, bats. Hey, bats. What? Gotta pollinate it. Oh, that's cool. You can track them like that. It's a very chill show. <laughs> Except for the heaviness of, you know, people dying. Really close friends dying. And not being able to do anything about it because it's just the passage of time doing its thing. That's cool. Oh, pretty. Yeah, that's a bunch of flowers. <laughs> Even the dwarves having fun. Give what you want. It's him out. It's him out. It is, but that's what we're there for. Excuse me. And to blow my nose. <laughs> so we can't go. I love you, Freeman. You're great. Okay. Oh, so that's why. That's why she said I'm doing this for myself. That's so sweet. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah. Ultimately, that's what your decision. Yeah. This show makes me happy. And sometimes really sad. Crown. Yeah. <laughs> Flower crown. That's all about this episode. I'm assuming there's something at the end because... Yeah, there's something at the end. Only a preview. Okay, uh, let's mute that. Okay, let's go here. It's not really opening. I think it's just the second show I'm watching with it. Always starts in the opening. Um, ah, frick. My, my notes! Notes! Come here, notes. Okay. <laughs> okay, um... Hmm. So, they're fishing. This is... It's a weird combination of just chill and just heavy. <laughs> because... It's very uh, the atmosphere. The the, the 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, the atmosphere feels very chill. Like it's just a chill show, right? But then we talk about the idea of death and just leaving behind people and all that. Yeah, and memories and how that impacts us. That's really interesting. That looks good. That's that salmon. That salmon. Okay, montage, montage. Let's have her in Grimoire before she does. Yeah, she deciphered it and then he's dying. And then with the episode, I can start. <laughs> you know, after the montage. Um. You know what I think is interesting? They kept mentioning that, uh, not they, uh, Fern. Fern kept mentioning that um, she's not like Freeren, where she just needed any kind of skill to help her support herself and therefore that would be good enough to to give, excuse me, what's his name? Haken? Is that his name? The priest. As we talk, I can help again. Uh, the priest, uh, peace of mind when she needs to be alone when uh, she, when he dies. So, what's interesting about that is they both stem from this. From, they both stem from someone else. Where Fern's whole thing about magic is that not only did she enjoy magic, but there's also the fact that she wants to learn magic because of the priest who saved her. Her. Wow, I can't use pronouns today. <laughs> who saved her, and then. Um, Fern seems to start enjoy doing magic because of uh, the calmness that she got from Himel, which is both ex external aspects that actually made them fall in love with magic. So I, th I think that's really interesting. So they're similar in that aspect. Uh, her going eventually isn't good enough. I need to be able to do it right now because he's about to die. Hmm. Showing again that Free Ren is like uh, not entirely unaware, but somewhat oblivious. Uh, still, still somewhat oblivious to how humans, human years work, how human life works. So yeah, and then we go through the backstory about her about to jump off a cliff, and then the priest stopping her and saying that uh, your life is worth something. You shouldn't throw it away. You're always free to die now. A long time ago, I lost an old friend. Unlike me, he was as straight as an arrow. Hopefully, this doesn't fuck up my, uh... This doesn't get blocked. <laughs> and he never abandoned anyone who was in need. If he survived instead of me, he would have saved a lot of people. <sighs> Listen, I'm not like him. I plan to live out the rest of my life days quietly. But well, one day, I re suddenly realized something. If I die without doing anything, all that courage, strength of will, and friendship I learned from him. Even all those precious memories have vanished from this world. <sighs> That's 
that's that's such a good that's such a good little speech. Like, don't kill yourself. <laughs> ah, because you know it's a waste. Like people's lives matters, and uh, no matter how you think that uh, you're at the end of your ropes, it still matters because you know you probably had a family before, and everything that they have stilled upon you when you were when you, before you die. Will just disappear because you decided to kill yourself. Okay, that sucks. Also, I like the irony of this. Where um, not irony, but you know, maybe irony. <laughs> but you know how she's practicing her magic on the same cliff that she decided to kill herself in. At some point, that um, the place that was like the home for her despair became the place that is like. Uh, uh, the place for her, what she loves doing, which is magic. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, what did I write down here? I can't read my handwriting sometimes. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. This shot is really cool. Uh, I want to say this right now. Uh, Animation-wise, nothing mind-blowing. Nothing mind blowing. Like there's nothing crazy about the animation in the show. I was expecting it to be really good. <laughs> I was expecting it to be amazing because apparently it is like top one in like the seasonal anime right now. So I get the feeling it's gonna be because of the story, and I like that. And more so the characters because you know you need good characters to write this kind of a story about. The story is about loss and uh, how you cope with the idea that. You are at some point going to lose someone, everyone actually. <laughs> like the idea that, um, yeah, yeah, you could say that the story is just about oh, because she's an elf, she lives, she lives longer than everyone. Everyone's gonna die. But when you think about it, die before her. But when you think about it, everyone around us is gonna die, and that's a reality that we should accept instead of just constantly pushing it under the rug. That everyone's gonna die, and we need to be able to cope with that. Not only do we need to be able to cope with that, but there's also the fact that we need to be able to uh, show show our affection towards them before that happens, because we never know when they're gonna die. And I think that's what the show is trying to tell us. Because and uh, uh, not really immortal, but you know, a long living being like an elf finding that and learning about it is probably the best best way to do that in a fantasy setting. So I think that is a brilliant. Brilliant, uh, brilliant, brilliant premise. I, I'd say, for for a while, when I when I learned that um, this show is about oh they defeat the, the demon king now they're gonna do random things and probably have slice of life fun hooray that's what I thought the show was gonna be about no the show is about accepting loss and accepting the fact that people are going to be lost at some point like yeah that's that's the thing. <laughs> Ah, so I think I like this a lot more than that. I was expecting, I was expecting a slice of life. I've got like it's still kind of slice of life esque, but um, there's some really heavy themes throughout that are really interesting, and I really like talking about those kinds of stuff. Finish deciphering the notes at the same time, the exact same time that Fern d hit the boulder. That's really cool. But also, uh, the, the notes didn't have anything about resurrection, nor did it have anything about immortality. That's kind of to be expected, I was expecting that actually. I was, I was actually expecting somewhere along the lines of this, either not having any kind of spells like that, or the spells not working at all. Because, you know, it, it really feels like that would um, deter the themes of the show a bit. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, because, you know, the whole the the whole aspect of these two episodes relates around death and how you should be able to cope with the fact that we're all dying. <laughs> so, giving giving us a spell a spell of immortality and a spell of resurrection kind of contradicts the message of the show. <laughs> so this I'm glad that it's like this. I'm glad that it did not have anything like that. Even though I'm definitely sad about the fact that this guy's dying. <laughs> Uh, 
she can be considered a mage now and she was he was like and he was like oh that means he won't have to worry about her anymore you can bring her along <laughs> that's great freaking great mm, probably my favorite part in this episode when Freeran starts freaking out and was like you shouldn't you shouldn't uh you shouldn't just be scared of uh, saying farewell to her. If you're gonna die, you might as well make memories with her while she's still here. I love that line because that means Free Ren in just one and a half episode grew so much because of Emil's death. Like, she grew so much because of that one thing that happened. It's so good. And then we go back here. Fields of flowers. I think I broke the scene. Nope. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And now it's better. Okay. It's what Himelda here would have done. Yeah. I like that this Himel guy is so influential to other people's lives. Like, I thought it was gonna be like a douchey. Just, I'm so pretty, actually. He definitely does that. I'm so, I'm such a pretty boy. I, I'm such an amazing guy. Please erect statues of me. <laughs> And I'm also really good at the head in, in battle, so of course I'm gonna get the ladies. That's what I thought it's gonna be like. Yeah, well, he is that, but he's also like a hero in general. Like, he's such a good hero. Where, like, I think the biggest thing that a hero should be able to do is not only save people, but inspire others to be able to save people. That's literally the message of my hero academia. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a bad comparison. I am sorry. <laughs> Those are very different shows. I am sorry for the. I started laughing and crying at the same time <laughs> because I laugh a bit much. <laughs> That's dumb. That was a dumb comparison to make. I'm sorry. Anyways. Hater. I was right. It was Hater. His name's Hater. Peter. Hater. Okay, never mind. It didn't have to be magic. Yeah, I talked about the title already. This was at the end, but still. And now they're doing regular quests. Again, you need to do the collect herbs quest before you get to the kill god quest. Right? That's how JRPG works. JRPGs work. Produces warm tea. And the spell that turns sweet grapes to sour grapes. I don't like that. I want sweet grapes. I don't like sour grapes. Why would you choose sour grapes over sweet grapes? You're eating grapes nonetheless, they both have sugar. A lot of sugar in them. <laughs> Might as well eat the sweet ones. <laughs> really do I, love the, I love the fact that they keep bringing up the idea that Freyrin, you really love magic, huh? And Freyrin kind of dodges the question by saying, it's just a hobby. I like the idea that uh, it's probably... It's... Mm, mm. It is a silly, it was a silly reason. I think what was that? Because they actually mentioned that it was a silly reason that someone just complimented her and now she starts liking magic a lot, a lot more. Mm, excuse me, acid reflux again. But um, maybe, um, you know what? A lot of the time, when it comes to life, um, we don't really need um, hyper dramatic reasons for doing something like sometimes it's just you feel like it and therefore you enjoy it and that's what gives your life meaning is that you're able to you're able to find something that you could say is your uh, is your worth is your meaning towards this life i for one i'm i consider myself to be a very optimistic nihilist <laughs> Like, for the most part, I'm kind of pessimistic when it comes to just regular stuff, but for the most part, like, the grander scheme of things, I consider myself to be an optimistic nihilist. Where basically, I think that nothing in, in the grand scheme of things, specifically, not, not in the smaller scale, but in the grand scale of everything, nothing matters, right? Because at some point, we're all gonna die, and at some point, the last person is gonna speak your name, and, you're gonna, and they're gonna die, and you're gonna be forgotten, and at some point, the sun is gonna blow up and destroy the earth, and at some point, the universe is just gonna stop existing. Not existing, but stop living. Like, it, either in the Big Crunch or in the... I forgot the other one. Like, either it stops having energy for expanding or it just kind of collapses onto itself. 
So at some point, everything is nothing. Nothing matters at so, at the very grand scale of everything. But because of that, you can find meaning in the smaller things. That's basically how I live my life. And whereas when I enjoy something, I enjoy it, and therefore I'm gonna do it. So yeah, while trying to my best to be a good person towards everyone that I meet. That's literally how I live. And I think that's similar to what Freerin is trying to say, where it's just a hobby. Where even though it's literally just a hobby, it is the one thing that she genuinely has this connection towards. Where she she's doing it for the sake of doing it, and that's what gives her life meaning. And yeah, and also of course the connections that she makes towards people, but because she was kind of disconnected to the emotion uh, emotional aspect of it, she was ah, uh, she was kind of she was kind of unable in, unable to properly express those things. So yeah, I think that's I think I don't know I don't know why I started rambling about that, but that's how I think my life is like. So I just wanted to share that. Okay, let's keep going. I was expecting some really good animations when it comes to the fight scenes. We don't get that. Or at least the magic blasting scene. We don't really get that, huh? Huh. We decided on a really simple pose that is really stupid. And then we're gonna clean it. Hello rats. We're gonna we're gonna throw you out there. I like the little setup for that. Setup and then reward. Not reward, you know. That's where I'm let's go with reward. I can't remember the term. Payload, pay, pay, load, payback, pay. Can't think of the word. Wow, can't English. So she comes here by herself and asks about. I think she's gonna last years here because she she probably knows of that because she's an elf. Like she, she doesn't really think of time similarly to how humans think of time. So yeah, so yeah. Um. And then we follow the squirrels. Definitely not squirrels. The nut. The nut rats. That's just squirrels. <laughs> Blue squirrels. And then found the thing. I freaking love the scene where <laughs> the priest and the dwarf are frolicking on the <laughs> on the flower field. <laughs> because that's kind of out of character from what I know of them. <laughs> so it's so funny to me. <laughs> and of course the the hero's like, I'm gonna make you a really pretty, <laughs> a really pretty uh, headpiece. <laughs> Cute. It's really cute. They're beautiful. I should have forgot. Let's put it on his head. Uh, she was. Uh, I want to talk about this because I saw it on my note that I forgot to talk about it. Um, when she was talking to the old lady, she actually mentioned that Freeren is able to, should be able to save a lot of people. But why is she doing these random things just to collect spells and stuff? Yeah. Uh, First of all, interesting that she brings up the idea of saving people because that's what uh, he, 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 Heaton, pro Heater, Heater probably uh, thought, thought, taught her about, you know, you know, she was saved by this person because this person decided that saving people is the right thing to do all the time. Good. Um, yeah. So yeah. So that's a really neat connection there. And the other one is... She... Freerin! Yeah, that's kinda messed up. <laughs> um, Freerin could focus her attention on... Like, saving a bunch more people. And just being a hero. But Freerin decides to continue her hobby of collecting spells. And even at this point when she was looking for the Blue Moon Weed, she genuinely thinks that she's doing it for herself because... Uh, um, it's a promise that she made with Himel. So she's doing it for herself. So that's interesting. Huh. So yeah. Anything else I want to talk about? Um, before we end this video. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think... I think that's it. I think that's it. I think we're done. Yeah. I think we're done. So. Just, um, let's go through my notes a bit. Mm, I talked about that, talked about that, talked about that, talked about that, talked about these things. I wonder where we're going with this. Um, are we just gonna be chill? Just 
chill adventures, probably reminisce about the past, real, realize that people are dying and we're, we need to make memories with them, make more connections with other people because there's definitely other characters in the opening that I haven't met yet. Even though I don't focus on the opening that much, I'm trying my best to not look at it as much. But you know, yeah, I don't know what else. Is there anything else I want to say? Is there anything else that's gonna happen? Like, is there gonna be like a villain in the show? Apparently it's a 28 episode show and it's only like, I forgot, 12 episodes in, 13 episodes in, as I'm recording this. I don't know. I hope this is a complete show. Like there's an actual ending to it. Um, 28 episodes, I think. So it's gonna be like, they have enough time to make that. So, to make that happen. So yeah, I think I'm done. So that's it for you for now. If you want to see the next episode reaction and discussion regarding it, I will also give that vision link below. If you don't have out, you don't have to wait again. Don't mean the world for me. Don't have to channel a lot. Also, leave a link in the video description. All the fun stuff in. Bye. -ya.